shoulder joint joint via mechanical changes, reduced range of motion, pain at the movement, degenerative changes of the articular ligamentous tissue, and the functional deficit of ligamentous tendinous structures of the shoulder girdle, appearances of adhesions, etc. Can all this set of symptoms can be corrected by the little movement gymnastic of Dr. Popov? Yes, it can. I'm going to explain in a simple way and to demonstrate what must be done and how it should be done. Starting from the beginning, sit in a comfortable position at the edge of the chair. The spine is erected and start in a very soft manner walking while sitting. In this movement, you add minimum shoulder movements. By involving all the body, concentrate on the movements of the spine, lumbar, thoracic region and the shoulder girdle. Now start adding small circular movements as if massaging the thigh muscles, the lateral surface muscles. This slight difference will bring variety to the activation of the shoulder movements. It is very important not to do any move with painful sensations. If you feel pain, diminish the amplitude of the movement. Usually it takes more than half an hour to warm up the ligaments and tendons. Therefore, large movements can cause pain if practiced without preparation. Smaller movements help to warm up the structures of the articulation. Take into consideration that this exercise must be pleasant. It demands no specific, specific equipment. You can sit in front of your screen, although I recommend not to be distracted by other activities, to be sure that you execute the movements correctly. It is very important to feel the complexity of the movement, be present in the sensations of the body. In such a case, you will receive more emotional satisfaction from the exercising and better response from your physical part. Now, drop the arms and move the shoulders alternatively forward and backward. Keep the spine straight, relax the shoulders, arms and the hands. Concentrate on the weight of the hands. Slowly relax the lumbar spine by bending forward. The free movement of the shoulders must be present at different positions of the spine. Therefore, you slowly change the position of the spine from flexion to extension bending forward and straightening up. These are the movements. Now very gently pull the shoulders up to the ears and continue the movement in a circular motion backward. This rotation should be done involving the spine. Movements of the shoulder alone will be too hard on you. The thing is that every movement is a synergetic sequence of the central muscles and the movement's transmissions to the extremities. This way, you feel involving all your body very gently, even the hip joint. This makes the spine moving as a wave. You can start with a slower rhythm. Very smoothly and very gently, now return to the walking. If you feel that you can make the movement larger by bringing the hands further beyond the knees, you can increase the range of motion. The breathing is very important. Inhale on one side, exhale at the other. It will help maintaining the rhythm. Very well. Release the tension. It is important to release the tension after every exercise and get relaxed all over. Exercise figure 8 – soft rotational movements together with pendulum undulations of the spine. First on one side, then on the other. Try to keep the back muscles and the muscles of the shoulder girdles relaxed at maximum.
very well. Relax again the shoulders, drop the arms together with up and down movements of the spine. The following movement should be done very carefully, only if it doesn't provoke any pain. Raise the arm upward and pull it up slowly. If the pain does not allow to raise the arm, then this movement should be done towards down. The movement should be as if stretching simultaneously rounding the back and swinging backward. The accent of the movement should go to the mobilization of the spine and not the shoulders. The movement allows the global stretching of the articular structure of the shoulder articulations. After a few repetitions, try to approach the shoulders to each other. This movement forward-backward is again the pendulum principle. While going forward, inhale, while going backward, exhale, then return to the drop the hand and the arms movement involving all the spine. Now, return to the walking while sitting. Relax your shoulders. Every time in returning to the walking, we integrate the new movement to our habitual way of walking. In case you had trauma in the past, then a period of immobilization or pain can change a biomechanics of the body and creates the excessive tension in other structures. Therefore, it is necessary to slowly rebuild the correct posture of the body. Again, relax the shoulders. Next movement is swinging forward and backward with your torso and moving the arms in a big circle trajectory, forward and backward. Moving forward, inhale. Moving backward, exhale. While moving forward, approach the shoulder blades. While moving backward, approach the shoulder joints. Once again, the movements must be pain-free. Very well, now relax the shoulders and the arms at maximum. Next movement, pay attention at the moment of the spine and the coordination. It is not just the arm movements. If the raising the arm is painful, stay in the pain-free range of motion. Inhale at one side, exhale at the other. Add the slight turn towards the raising arm. Very well. Now, relax the shoulders and the arms at the maximum. Next exercise. Touch the front of the shoulder joint with your thumbs and move the elbows in the circular motion. It is necessary to involve all the body. Pay attention to the spine movements. Smooth and gentle movements of the shoulder joint together with the spine. Moving up inhale, moving down, exhale. Do the same movement to the opposite side. If the movement is painful, start with minimum movement with lower with your elbows. No need to raise them high. Gradually explore your limits and eventually increase the range of motion. Change the direction. Relax the arms and shoulders at maximum. Next exercise. Turn the toes inside and slide with your hands down along the legs to the feet. The spine is flexed. Concentrate on the lumbar spine, on the thoracic spine, on the neck and feel the stretch of the arms reaching the toes. Turn the feet outside and slide up with hands towards the hips and the shoulder blades approaching. 
This way, you are stretching the chest muscles and the front structures of the shoulder joint. Straighten up, inhale, bend forward, exhale. As soon as you feel tension, stop immediately. Do not allow any excessive tension to be present. After every new exercise, you must recover the relaxed attitude and feel the lightness of the move. Return to the walking while sitting exercise, then relax the shoulders and the arms. Relaxation is a must after every exercise. Next exercise. Touch your shoulders with your fingers and alternatively raise one shoulder while the other one goes backward. Alternate. Feel the movement of the lumbar spine, flexing, extending. The spine is mobilized and gradually starts feeling more and more free and the elbow raises higher. If while doing the movement you feel tension and pain, it means that the movement is useful and it targets the structure that needs attention, but it cannot be reached from the pain. Once again, I repeat, painful movement should be avoided. You should diminish the range or the intensity. You should observe your body. The movement should be rather stretching and should bring the pleasant sensations. Relax again at maximum. Next movement, internal rotation of the shoulders, elbows and hands. And feeling the stretch, you should turn the palms open backward and the arms are stretched downwards. Very gently move to the opposite position. Open forwards. Palms are open forward. While moving up, inhale. While moving down, exhale. Keep your spine straight and depress your shoulders by pulling the arms downwards. Again, inhale, exhale. In the final position, keep the spine straight and depress the shoulders. And now on the opposite, relax the lumbar spine. again at the maximum. We are back to walking while sitting. Circular movements in one direction. Notice that it demands coordination. So at the beginning it might be difficult, but then with time you will catch up the character of the movement and you will gradually improve. Circular movements on the opposite direction. Relax the shoulders. Next movement. Raise your arms alternatively, very softly, very slowly, always due to the active movement of the spine. Concentrate on the raising hand movement. The movement should be effortless. The wrist naturally bends down while moving up and bends up when moving down. Inhale, exhale. Next movement is similar, but not emphasizing on the elbow bending. Start with bending the elbow only. Then carefully start raising elbow higher and softly flexing the shoulder. Always keep the spine in active mood. Carefully observe the movement, avoid painful sensations. Relax and relax. Next movement. Lock your fingers this way and make the wave-like movement. At the beginning, do it slowly. Start with only hands and forearms. Gradually involve the shoulders.
Next move. Rotate the locked hands together. Start with only wrists and slowly extend and move the shoulders. While keeping the lock, extend the palms down very carefully. The spine should be straight and the effort very thoughtful. Inhale while raising the wrists and exhale while pressing down. Pay attention to the movement of the torso in coordination with the arm, with the arm movement. Now try to press forward, but if it increases the pain, do not do it. Although the discomfort can be allowed. But very soft and gentle, you should be with yourself. If you feel that this turn provokes pain, reduce the movement range and relax again. Now that you feel your warm, we can go on with more stretching. Initial position. One hand is on the shoulder, the other one supports the elbow. Slightly bend forward, inhale, straighten up, exhale and gently push the elbow. The stretching is very gentle and you must observe the body response. Do not try to force the movement. Slowly the stretching will bring the softening of the articulation. Pay attention that this moment also mobilizes the thoracic spine. Every time you push the elbow, the torso moves to the same direction. Relax at maximum and repeat on the other side. I'm demonstrating the maximum range, but you must do those exercises taking into consideration your individual capacities. Relax at maximum and return to the walking while sitting. Next movement. This position is called volleyball player position. The legs are set wide large and the heads are on the knees. Shift the upper body on one side and low down the opposite shoulder by pushing against the knee with the hand and straightening slightly the elbow. You will see this shoulder go slightly forward and the other one backward. Here you will feel the back muscles work together with the front shoulder stretch and the thoracic and lumbar spine. Coordinate with the breathing. Inhale. As if it were a pendulum. Relax and relax. Next moment is a soft backward rotation. This time the movements will feel freer. Now that you are warmed up, concentrate your attention to the shoulder articulation on the opposite direction and relax at the maximum.
will show the several exercises with a ball. By rolling it forward, you will feel stretching the shoulder girdle. Rolling forward, exhale. Rolling backward, inhale. You should relax very much your wrists. Below them, wrapping the ball. Feeling the regularity of a pendulum. Forward, backward. Inhale. Exhale. Feel that the movement spread from your wrists. Change the movements into punching forward. Always think as if. 
if the movement is initiated with your walking and shifting the weight from one foot to another. Relax your arms and legs. Shift the weight in one leg so that the other one stays empty and naturally follows the shoulder turn. This twisting the body. Shoulders are relaxing. The movement is initiated by changing the weight and natural body twist. Let the shoulder joint move freely. Keep loading each leg at a time and add small rotations outside with your forearm. Raise it to the level to stay pain free.
touch your shoulders with your thumbs and softly rotate inside using the spine. Exhale, bend forward. Elbows move downwards. Inhale, straighten up and extend. Elbows move upwards. Now change the direction, rotating shoulders inside. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, relax and bend. Repeat eight times. The painful parts of the body are the parts that suffered the most and were injured by repetitive effort and bad postural patterns. To let those parts move freely, we start from mobilizing the spine. Increase the frequency of vibrations and diminish the amplitude. 
this way make it work more ligament on the ligaments and tendons. Relax the legs. Exercise in the lunge position. Inhale and advance with the chest with slight extension of the back. Arms are in the pushing position. Exhale, retreat to the initial position. The back is hunched and the arms are forward, holding the hook. Relax the body. Return to the walking. Finish this set with walking, beautiful harmonious walking, which is the basis of healthy posture. Stay in good fresh mood, high spirit, and your ailments will leave you faster. This is the end of the set. <laughs>